small flash, really big results. So I had two jobs this past weekend. Um, had a commercial gig, which was nighttime, um, very low lit areas. And Saturday I had a huge wedding, uh, a day wedding. So I had sunlight to work with, and then it went into the reception time, which was very dark. So if you are an event photographer like me, and you're doing some shopping on some flashes, um, let me tell you about this guy that I like, love, and uh, yeah, usability, here we go. This little flash, first of all, I was right. On the last video, I was telling you guys and girls that you know, when my Canon flashes are on top of my Fuji X-T3, that it's very top heavy. What I was noticing with my Canon flash on top of my Fuji X-T3, um, one, it's top heavy because it's big, you know? Uh, two, I always shoot manual flash power, especially inside a venue, so I have complete control. And I always have the power setting way turned down, like 16th or 128th, it's low. Um, which means I'm not using the full functionality of that bigger flash. So wouldn't it be cool to get something smaller producing at a flash output that I'm always working in, but smaller? This worked really, really well. So the reason why I didn't get the V350 is because that has the lithium battery. Honestly, after my 25 years of working in the event industry, I can tell you how many dumb times I forgot to charge my rechargeable batteries or you know I even left one of my lithium batteries at home and only had one in the flash and it's like what do you you can't run to any store no gas station no hotel downstairs is gonna have those lithium batteries for, to save your butt basically um, it's really the only reason why I got this one because I can always find me a double A anywhere Double A's are everywhere. So, um, question you may have is, with only two double A's, how long does this thing last? Well, first things first. When you put brand new batteries in here, it, it works pretty much fine. As you get through a couple hundred pops on it, you're gonna notice that the recycle time goes down, which is not a bad thing, because it's really your way of knowing that your batteries are getting low. So, I had an entire wedding on Saturday it was about nine, 10 hours, man. And um, I had four double A's in my pocket and I only had to change batteries once. Now, that being said, it was also a day wedding. I'm a natural light photographer as much as I can until I have to turn the flash on, which is usually the reception. And um, that's one reason why my usability on a wedding was perfectly fine. If this was a nighttime event and I had to do a lot more flashing for my imagery, uh, I'm sure I would have went through more batteries. But again, double A's in my pocket are way easier than, holy cow, where, where can I find lithium batteries that are for this flash? So I'm okay with that. Turn it on. Boom, it comes on. See that zero right there is blinking? That's because that is your flash exposure compensation. So all you gotta do is hit set, and then rotate the dial. Um, I was always, it seemed like the 
.03 was my sweet spot when I was working the job. Um, it's amazing the difference of .7 and .3. It all depends on the distance from you to the subject. So even though you are TTL, again, I don't want to override the ambient light. I totally want to complement what's going on. So you can play just by hitting set. That's it. So if you want to make other changes, you can, but this video is not going to be about how this flash talks to other flashes. Today I just want to talk to you about whether or not this flash is worthy enough for an event. The usability of this flash for how I use it on real jobs is what I'm talking about today. Pretty cool, right? So when I tell you this thing works coming out the box, it really does. I photograph completely manual on my camera. I love the Fuji X-T3 for that. It makes my job so much easier shooting in manual because it's just the knobs on the top of my ring. I, I just gotta work, man. Um, but put the flash on the TTL and it works perfectly fine. Absolutely fine. Boom, take this off. Now you have a little bit more flash power. But I don't need the flash power at the person. When I use this off, it's because I'm bouncing. And you can change, you can change your zoom. So it compresses that light, it magnifies the light more directional. So the same flash power that I'm using, just zoom it up, aim it towards the closest wall that you have in your event and see what happens. I was pleasantly surprised at how well this performed in this very large room, very high ceilings but it worked just like my other flash would. It really did, and it's smaller. I need to get a second one of these things very soon um, just because of the master slave idea. For only 80 bucks, 90 bucks, I mean, how cool is that? Um, I had this idea of being in a large room for my weddings and having a couple of stands around the room with these guys on there and you know, you don't need crazy amount of flash when you're working these events. They have light. The band has their lights. There's up lighting in the room. Uh, it's never completely black. You know what I mean? It's always, the tone is always set for the bride and groom or your event in general to be aromatically beautiful. Is that a word? It is now. Um, so we're always complimenting the available light not trying to take over the available light. Um, I also photograph at very high ISOs and I can shoot at 4000 ISO on this X-T3 just fine. Usually when I'm bouncing, all I'm doing is finding the nearest wall, take this off, do your zoom, go up to your zoom so it's throwing the flash further away easierly. <laughs> and uh, you'll be surprised what you get for your results. So look, I did something different last weekend. Um, I have an Instagram page for this YouTube channel. It's not my main page. My main page is GK Photography One. That is my main business page. But I have a Focus with GK Instagram page. And yes, that's what it is. At focus with GK and what I did last weekend if you are one of my followers on Instagram is I was showing you behind the scenes video and I believe I even threw a couple of images from the camera I love this Fuji X-T3 man whenever I get a break um, later in the reception or so I can turn the Wi-Fi on the camera and suck some images to the phone and then from the phone I can share with you so you're seeing the actual shots very cool anyway Events here in New Orleans can be absolutely stunning. And this weekend, Anne Marie and Hayden, man, their wedding was no exception to the rule. It was beautiful, it was wonderful weather for us, man. The humidity, humidity was gone, it was cool. You didn't sweat like we usually do. Man, they're beautiful people, they had wonderful vendors, like all the pieces of the puzzle was done correctly. Therefore, their wedding was awesome. That's all I gotta say. 
And if you shopping brides out there, when you hire the best vendors you can, you're gonna have an amazing event because that's, that's what we do. <laughs> so do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram just so you can get some more behind the scenes. It's easier for me to post and respond to you guys. Uh, feel free to DM me. I truly appreciate all of you who are following me and the ones who are uh, talking with me on DMs, on Instagram. It, it's nice having friends all around the world. Um, Rob, Australia, come on, man. Uh, totally awesome. My buddy Vance. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a bunch, man. Sunny Greenwich, over in Ireland, man. I wish I could have seen you when you came to uh, California, man. I, I just wasn't in my schedule this year. Um, Vid Summit or one of those conferences. I'm going this year. Coming, absolutely. I just got to figure out which one. And look, even as far as Guam, Mr. Hennison, I, I just really love the fact that time of the day may be different but as far as space in time we're all here together and YouTube is just one of those ways that we can communicate with each other uh, share some love and I love how good people are everywhere and I'm glad you're here so if you're not a fellow subscriber I would appreciate it if you hit that button um, smash the bell though because you'll get notifications when I'm posting something and uh, most importantly stay active in the comments section you may have a question that somebody else has a question about and they're just shy on on asking it so trust me every time somebody throws a little love in the comment section you're not just helping me but you're helping somebody else out there I know you are. I know you are. I have a busy, 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 busy week. It's the fall, it's November. Today is my sister's birthday. Sis, you look great for 40. Again. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. We have the Nutcracker Ballet coming in today. I have a, a bunch of more events and I have a lot more videos to share with you guys of the real usability of how I work on jobs with all this equipment. There's a plane right above my head right now, isn't there? So I hope I helped somebody with the little Godox TT350. If you uh, have any questions about this flash, again, leave it in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram. You can DM me. And I will see you in the next video. It's a beautiful day today, right? I feel I sound like Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It is. Oh. Go LSU. Peace, you guys. Later. Hey, I forgot to tell you, man. Stay focused on your dreams. Because I am. And it's fun. Living the dream. Yeah. Now we're out of here. <laughs>